Right, let's have a quick look, shall we? Two bots Athlon Mini Rocky. Looks like we got another one! Hello and welcome! It's KTRT review time again! Yes, I've got some more KTRT bots to show you. And today I am bringing you a new character from Tobot Athlon Season 2. Now, Tobot, as you know, is a big toy brand in Korea by Young Toys. Um, they have did the, the, the Tobot series, which ran out to, what, 18 seasons? And now they've, they've changed to this uh, Tobot Athlon, which is kind of a spin-off series. In the first series, um, you had this this team called the uh, the Athlon team, and they were racing these free Tobots in uh, the Robot Racing series, where they were competing against the champion, who was actually a bad guy, and uh, was using these uh, these two biker dudes to cheat, you know, to, to nobble the competition so that he could win at any cost. But now we're on to season two, the the, the um, with episodes of which are being uploaded by the Young Toys YouTube channel every week. Um, they've uh, moved on to a new sport, and for uh, season two, it's dodgeball, robot dodgeball. So basically, um, the Athlon team uh, go to a, a, a dodgeball match where they see this kid who's got these free robots, and he's um, in a dodgeball match and he, he's not doing particularly well they, they get friendly with the kid and uh, as a result his free robots get upgraded with mind cores so they become towbots and then it's the adventures they get into you know playing dodgeball and there it, it's kind of complicated you've got to watch the episodes to, to, to see what's going on anyway the, they bought out some new toys and the three new bots they've bought out, the main characters, are Vulcan, who's a, a red fire engine. You've got Tornado, who's a sort of like a blue and white police car. And then you've got Rocky, who's a big yellow excavator. Now, when I first saw the pictures of Rocky, the, the toy of Rocky, I just, I want that one. And... I didn't get one right away as soon as they became available on, on eBay. Uh, the main reason for this is because we in the UK have, uh, you know, a couple of months ago, well, it's going back about four or five months ago, we had the Brexit. And uh, I voted for Brexit because I want Britain to, you know, to leave the European Union because I think the European Union eventually is going to ruin Britain. But uh, that's just my own personal opinion. Anyway. Let's forget politics. As a result of this, the uh, the pound is not doing so well against other world currencies. You know, it's taken a bit of a dip because you know the Brexit wasn't what people expected to happen. They expected it to be a remain in Europe, and uh, there's lots of confusion as to what's going on, and people are just uh, getting cold feet and uh, selling their commodities, and it's affecting the world markets. Blah blah blah. So the pound isn't doing so well against foreign currencies, most notably the dollar. And as a result of the which, buying car bots, tow bots, you know, Korean toys is getting more expensive. And for two reasons: one, the dip in the exchange rate, and two, uh, the eBayers, the Korean eBayers, are starting to jack their prices up a little bit because uh, they realise that uh, us in the West are starting to cotton on to. Uh, you know, tow bots, car bots, and uh, you know other things like that, and they're thinking, well, you know. There's only one place in the world they can buy these things from, and uh, the prices are slowly increasing. Anyway, so I wanted to get Rocky, but I, I put him off. And this delay meant that two of my rivals, shall we say, in uh, Korean toy YouTube reviews, um, Felsbug and the um, interestingly named 
um, Transformers and uh, Power Rangers toy reviews got there first so Felsbug or Gubzelf reviewed uh, the toy of Rocky and then shortly afterwards uh, the guy the guy in America the uh, you know, uh, Transformers and uh, Power Rangers reviews he reviewed all three of the, the characters he reviewed Rocky Tornado and Vulcan so that sort of removed the emphasis I had on getting these toys so that I could review them um, you know because someone else got there first someone else had done an English speaking review on them I, I was like I'm I'm not too bothered about getting these now and the fact that the, the, they were you know, a little bit pricier than, than what I'm used to paying kind of put me off but that is until earlier this month when I noticed uh, looking on uh, eBay career I noticed there was a, a new line of Tobot toys that come out Tobot Athlon minis now this is a this is a Tobot Athlon bot. These are the big ones, right? Here's Beta. He's a season one bot. He's also in season two, but you know, this is one of the the original toys. As you can see, it's big, it's chunky, it's heavy, it's uh, got ratchets. A bit hampered on the articulation in a few areas, but that's typical for a, a Korean robot toy. And I paid. How much did I pay for this guy? Well, I, I like to pay, let's say, around sort of between sort of like 45 and 50 quid for toys like this. And like I said, that's the size that I usually go for. Now, the minis are smaller. And let's uh, have a look at the box. So uh, this is the box that uh, Mini Rocky came in. It's very colourful. It's got lots of uh, graphics on it. It's got English and Korean text. So you can understand what it is. And here he is. Here is Tobot Athlon Mini Rocky in his alt mode, in his excavator mode. And <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, Look at this dude, he's so cute. Little, little tiny digger. Um, it's got wheels. It's got little wheels underneath, so it does roll. There is uh, some articulation on the digging arm. It's got, it's got a hinge joint there, it's got a hinge joint there, and it's got a hinge joint there, so you can do some posing with that. Got a little dozer blade on the front. It does sort of. It's supposed to peg into the front here, but it doesn't doesn't do it very well. But that's about all there is to say about this. It's nicely painted. It's uh, it's well made, apart from that little little pegging issue on the front there. Um, so it, it's brilliant. It's, it's a cute little excavator. Transforming this guy is very simple. A little bit of parts forming to start off with. Take that off. Then you uh, you sort of fold the dozer blade around. The, so the tracks are pegged in at the front here, so you just release the pegs. Then you take the cap, pull it out. And then the foot is inside there. And there is also a little heel spur that comes out there. And then you pull the other side out, the other leg, and that's the legs. Go around to the front, pull out the shoulders, and then you just fold out the arms. Like so. And finally, you get the digging arm, and there's a little pegging port on the back. You just plug it in, and there we have Rocky in his robot mode. And again, <laughs> he's cute as a button. 
absolutely fantastic. Um, I haven't got the big one yet. I, I'm planning on getting it next year. Um, but as far as I can tell, aesthetically wise, this thing is identical to the bigger brother. The only major difference is on the back, he hasn't got that stupid flap where the um, where the mine car pops in. That's the only major difference. Um, yeah. Um, articulation. Um, nothing at the head. The arms are on ball joints, so they, they will go all the way round. But there is a sort of a clearance issue with the uh, the back the backpack the arms are just hinged on the inside of the the tracks so he's, he's got gorilla arms basically you can you know get some a certain range of poses out of him not a great deal moving on to the hips hips go out that far they do go forwards but they splay outwards because of the nature of the ball joints. You can get a little bit of um, movement, that's on the ball joint, they're, they're, they don't have any uh, any five swivels but you can get a little bit of uh, motion there. And it's got 90 degree at the knee and this one foot has got a little bit of hit, uh, got a hinge joint on it. So that's it, um, fairly simple. Easy to transform, great little figure, um, quick size comparison. Here he is next to Turbot Athlon Pop Theta. Here he is next to uh, Turbot Athlon Beta. And for a more relevant size comparison, here he is next to Age of Extinction Deluxe Lockdown, so he's a little bit bigger than a, than a Deluxe, a whole lot chunkier than a Transformers Deluxe. Uh, you can get a bit of movement on this thing. Uh, it does have another pegging port on the leg, but why would you want to put it down there? You can turn it round and have it going down his back like that. Or, you know, you could fold the arm up right up like that. So it's got a few options. It's a great little toy. It's fantastic. So you now, if you don't want to go for the bigger ones, you can go for the little ones. They've done all three of the characters from season two in this smaller scale. So the options there to buy into that. Yeah. So I paid uh, just under twenty quid for this guy, shipped from uh, Korea. So uh, yeah, pretty good value for money. It's a great little figure, and uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about it. Um, I have got, uh, the day before I got this guy, I had a delivery of a couple of other KTRT bots. So I've got Robot Trains, Alf and uh, Victor. So we'll hopefully be doing a review on them in the next couple of days, but it'll be a double header review because they're basically the same figure, just different characters. So I might as well just do them as a, a double, double bill. But uh, yeah. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I did a little check on YouTube, and as far as I'm aware, not 100% sure, doesn't look like anybody in Korea has reviewed this thing yet. So, I think I've got one over the Koreans for once. Yeah, so that has been me, TFR Wilderness. This has been uh, Tobot Athlon Mini Rocky. And I will bid you farewell, and catch you all next time. Ta-da.